Florida, the Sunshine State. Behind the beaches, 80% of the land is wilderness, forest, or wetland. May 8, 2012. Deep in Torreya State Park, Stacy Brown Jr. is camping with his father, a former Army Ranger. So we're just cooking out, uh, had some ribs on the grill, and as we're standing there, uh, we start hearing knocks. And I was like, that ain't the wind, you know? And I said, we'll find out what this is. The men head into the woods using a night vision camera to guide them through the darkness. Right, we're hearing the knocks and a, and a growl right over here. The strange noises seem to follow them. We're hearing noises to our left. We're hearing noises to our right. We don't hear the knocking anymore. But what we do hear is something walk. Thump, thump, thump. Father and son pause. Stacy Sr. points his night vision camera into the darkness. I stopped and we panned around. What he sees next is a vision of horror. Out walked this big thing and I just froze. The hands are just enormous. If it grabbed somebody by the throat, it could just pinch your head right off. I really just lost it. I was scared. Did you mess with me? Seeing my dad, an Army Ranger, flip out like that, it made my stomach drop. That thing could see us, man. It could see us in the dark. We are out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and there's nobody coming to save us. I've been into some situations that were scary but I've never been this frightened before in my life. This is the monster stories you hear about when you're a kid, and then you grow up and you find out they're true. I would put odds on this being a man about six foot tall in a furry suit. There have been numerous ape-man hoaxes across the United States. Image analyst Ben Radford takes a closer look at the infrared night vision to determine if this creature is fake and spots an intriguing detail. Whatever this thing is, to see a heat signature like this, it would most likely be naked. The darker parts would be where the exposed skin is. This could be some unknown creature. If this is a hoax, it's a clever one. Stacy Jr. and his father retrace the creature's steps to determine its size. It took one and a half, and in mine takes, what, at least three? To work out the length of the creature's stride, they measure the distance crossed in the footage. It'll be about what? About 10 feet. Give or take a few inches. That's gonna give him a stride of a little over six feet, maybe. 